Hey, what's up guys, Scale Fifi here, and welcome to this Inform Art of Tour and Review. Now guys, from these um, assists and goals, he doesn't look like that good of a player, but what you're going to see is a lot of assists were what should have been assists that just weren't taken by my striker. In hindsight, I'd probably have a much taller striker or a stronger striker than Jesse Rodriguez, um, just someone who would connect with the headers, because I didn't have that, and that is why he hasn't got as many assists as he should have. But you will see a few chances that should have been put away. Anyway, into the stats, as you can see, a lot of greens, and he does feel very comfortable on the ball. He's very sluggish, but on the ball, he's very comfortable with it. If you hold LT or L2, he'll keep the ball near him, and people just can't take it off him, because he's brilliant like that. If this guy was a cam, he'd be brilliant, but sadly, he's on the left, and he just doesn't have the pace, really, to cut it to me. Um, he was getting caught up too easy by just anyone, really. And it was just irritating, real. But when he got the ball under his control, he could hold LT, hold up play, and then swing back around and then run again. Which I know that sounds a bit complicated, but you'll see what I mean very soon. And he's crossing. He's, he's crossing's brilliant. This is what I mean. He should have had so many more assists just because chances just weren't taken by my attackers, which was very disappointing. It was Hesse Rodriguez in striker, and he should have put more um, headers away. But um, sadly. He didn't do so, but he is a very decent finish. Look at this, this is a great finish to us. Keeper maybe should have done better, but he just really well to slide in and get the finish away, which is awesome. I don't know if I'd advise him at left forward, because I think there's like a lot better players, like players like David Villa and stuff like that, that I'd rather have there. I mean, in general, I'd rather use David Villa than this guy, but for crossing-wise, this guy is exceptional. I'm not much of a crosser, I'd rather cut inside and shoot, but because of his passing, I thought, I'm going to have to cross it in, see what his crossing's like, and it's very, very good. But it's just not my style of play to me, so it didn't suit me too well. But as I say, I think if I had a bigger forward, a stronger forward, this guy would have made many more assists. Shooting's not his strength, definitely not. But his crossing, as you can see, is brilliant. It's immaculate. It's just brilliant. It always finds a head. I mean, look at that. That should have been put away by the first header, but what can you do? My strikers, as I say, went the strongest. But overall, this guy, crossing-wise, is brilliant. He will always find um, a member of his team. And he, I just wish I got more assists with him because he really wasn't as bad as the assists and the goals make him out to be. Much better passing than um, most players. And this is what I mean, like holding up play, going back and forth before crossing it in. Look at that, that should have gone in. I mean, come on. He should have had so many more assists. But that's the sort of player I think he is. He's not much of a shooter. He's not the player you want a left forward to be shooting with. You want him at left mid or left wing. He's got a higher work rate, so he probably would be better suited to left mid. But um, yeah, I'll leave that for you guys to decide. The reason I reviewed him actually is because he's priced tank. Look, he's 40k. I think he's going to go up after he's out of packs. But he's probably going to tank um, on like up until Friday, weekend and so on. But um, yeah, guys, that is my review of Inform Arda Turan. Probably... Will be better suited to someone who crosses a bit more, who can handle the pace decrease, because I'm not uh, that much. I'm a bit of a pacer, you all know that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that before I start rambling. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one. Adios.